Alright, this is the video you've all been waiting for. Today, we're going to play some of the games that has proven to give the Poco F4 GT a very hard time. And we're going to see how this cooling fan pretty much allows it to run wild. Let's get started. Selamat pagi! Good morning everyone, Kenneth here. Welcome to another gaming test video of the Poco F4 GT. Now this time is different and more exciting because we are finally getting this magnetic cooling and I opted for this instead of like a clip-on fan which is undeniably cheaper because I don't want to interfere with all the buttons on the sides here. I'll leave all the links below if you want to check any of these stuff out. Anyway, it's a simple cooler. It doesn't have any, you know, Bluetooth connection or any control or whatsoever. If I plug it in like this to my laptop, it just turns on. There is a small LED right there that indicates it's on. Fan is ramping up now. And as you can see down here, it gets cool on this part. You also get this small magnetic plate so that you can stick it on just like that. It's a very, very secure connection right here. I can shake my phone forever and it won't budge. So now let's move on to this camera and we'll see what are the games that we're going to play. So as you can see here, we're going to test out first with this PUBG New State because 90 FPS here is very, very demanding. And then we're gonna test out Apex Legends as well because that performs very poorly on my previous test. Genshin Impact needs no introduction and finally we are going to test Call of Duty Mobile because you guys just won't stop complaining if I don't test that out. So yeah, let's check out the basic settings of the phone first. So we are running at 100% at the moment and that's with performance mode turned on on the battery side. Brightness is on like about 75 to 80% here and if we take a look at the about phone, I'm running pretty much the latest MIUI that I can get at this time, which is 13.0.5. So let's fire up PUBG New State right now and we're going to play some games. Take a look at this performance meter. I turned that on in MIUI's developer settings, by the way. A lot of you asked about it. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so taking a look at the graphics first, you can see on the combat performance here, I've got the frame rate set to 90 FPS, whereas the graphic quality I couldn't Put it up because it will automatically reduce the 90 fps down you see i turned off graphics optimization here because i don't want this settings to move in game for graphic resolution hd textures here which is another 700 megabytes download i turned it on everything is on high and anti-aliasing something that i normally don't turn on i turn it on right now just to test uh, really put pressure on the cooling fan here to see if it's capable in making the phone run cool. Okay, let's start with a battle royale mode on Troy here, and we're going to start a match. So far, it's a solid 90 FPS. Temperatures are at 39 degrees. And if we can check with a real temp gun here, that's 39.4. 35.5 pretty much in line with what we see here reported by the way I just wanted to let you know if you can hear the fan noise here It is pretty significant and it gets quite warm even down here now And by the way, of course we are turning on the performance mode here
All right, so right after PUBG News Day, that was quite a toasty match. Here we are on Apex Legends with Extreme HD Ultra. And uh, we have adaptive smoothing turned off here. We don't want any variables with display FPS turned on. So next is V-Sync to turn on, anti-aliasing, I'm gonna turn it on, bloom on, everything on here. So let's get started with the Battle Royale mode. So it was 45 degrees right after PUBG New State. Now if we are checking the temps, that's 43 and 40. This cooling fan will help cool the entire phone much quicker. So if we take a look at the performance looking at the map here, I think that's pretty good. That's a solid 60 FPS there, as you can see here. Okay, now we have some lag going on, but that's just because to load the map. Ooh, all right, that was a nice match. You can see that the FPS is pretty much a stable 60, and that is red there because this is a graph for basically 120 FPS. The temperature is a stable like 43 before, so not as hot as PUBG New State, but overall I can say that this thing really nice, really works for Apex Legends. All right, so next one here um, is Genshin Impact. I'm gonna turn on performance mode on game turbo again it's been like half an hour one hour recording here let me know if you want to see like an in-depth benchmark on genshin impact but let's check out the settings here we are at highest 60 as you can see that's high high highest 60 everything is turned on here and we're going to do the date quest all right Moving around the map here, we can see the performance, 55, 53 FPS. It's not a solid 60 on Genshin, even with the fan. Uh, actually, never a solid 60, but yeah, it's a pretty nice 50, you know, up around 53-ish FPS. With occasional dips to the 40s, yes, sure, but a lot of the time it stays above 50, which is nice. Alright, so I'm just going to destroy this now. 
Cool. And next, taking a look at the loading times for teleporting there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's about five, six seconds, which is nice. As you can see there, still 50, like above 50 FPS, which is nice. Because if we're playing without a fan at 42 degrees, that's going to increase to 45 and the FPS is going to be like, what, 30 something. Alright, cool. All commissions complete. Of course, in places with a higher density of stuff here, that FPS is going to go down to the 40s. Okay, so now this is like a typical 5-run artifact. very good from here okay that's pretty good like let's play Genshin a little bit longer and a lot of you actually requested the dragon spine region so and to actually fight out these guys. Um, Alright, 37 FPS. This big guy, you're next. Shit. Alright, cool. Um, what else? Let's see a boss fight. That's a very quick boss fight. <laughs> Just keep in mind that if you are at 43 degrees, uh, you know, you can feel that your phone is warm. I really recommend you to go ahead and cool the phone first and then start playing then because you will get a more solid above 50 FPS and uh, the temperatures will rise but it will rise very slowly. Like at two hours mark, you're probably just below 40 or like at 40 degrees so uh, that's pretty much it for Genshin Impact there now move on to the last game Call of Duty we're going to play and boost the performance once again clear all the memory uh, let's take a look at the settings here we are at very high max frame rate graphics so for the battle royale mode this time I'm turning on anti-aliasing not God Ray so if I'm turning that on you know like it flips the other flip on. All right, I'm gonna fast forward on this point and we're gonna check out the battle part. Halfway through the game now, and still a pretty solid 60 FPS, so no problem so far.
All right, so now we are at the end of our match and um, pretty much I got to step out there for a second. So we are at 40 degrees now. The phone has cooled down a little bit and let's take a look at the last temperature measurement here. We are at 40 degrees. Once again, we can see that this temperature reading on screen here is pretty accurate. And then finally, last but not least, we take a look at the battery there that's at 50% after about like one and a half hours of gaming session. So it does drain significantly more battery compared to like without cooling fan, of course, because it's utilizing more power from the chip itself. And then as we can see on the Accu battery here, that new state is using the most amount of battery at 16.9 and then Call of Duty and then followed by Apex Legends and Genshin and Pack there. But if we can see from the discharging speed here, uh, Apex, Genshin and Call of Duty actually all uh, consume about the same amount per hour, which is like 30%. But then new state just keeps on pushing it to the limit here as we are using at 37% per hour and it maxes out at 45 degrees, which is very, very hot, even with a cooling fan. All right, so that's pretty much it for the test. I hope it was entertaining and useful to you. If you have a Poco F4 GT, once again, I love this phone, but the chip inside just needs an external fan for you to cool it and you know it works so definitely definitely recommend getting a cooling fan i'll put all the links down in the description below for you to check out and if you buy through those links it will help me at no extra cost to you follow me on social media for all the good contents coming on the channel and that's gonna be it from me today thank you so much for watching i'm kenneth and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye